Now, every player has chosen a strata of three classes prior to the Invitational. So the Warrior class will be assigned to whoever had the Warrior, Warlock, and the Druid classes. So in this case, it's going to be Kriparian for the Jungle Giants. And he is taking on a giant rat. There it is. Just look at how big that. I don't even actually know what the hero power for the giant rat is. And these players clearly don't know either. Because they, they actually said in their little uh, interview before they got on stage, they have not played this yet. They did not take the opportunity That's to go right. to the demo machine. So to break it down of how the dungeon run works for some people who are watching at home, uh, every single level, there's eight levels total in the dungeon run, the bosses get increasingly harder. You start off relatively easy. In my opinion, losing to the giant rat is quite embarrassing. You have, <laughs> it has 10 health. And uh, it's, it's pretty easy to kill. By, I mean, if you have Bash, you're already a, you know, almost a third of the way there. It starts getting t difficult, though, because every boss, from my experience, seems to double in power. Uh, and from that point on, it can be really tricky to handle some of those incoming uh, waves and hero powers that keep right. weaving. Well, let's, uh, let's hear how they plan to uh, deal with this so giant rat. Very unlikely. Okay. What's, <laughs> what's he got for a hero power here? Summon two one one rats. Oh, so I think we want to we want to do so the yeah, no, yeah, yeah. you do no, warbot no, first. I'm just saying it's good. No, we don't. We do the first mate first. I think because uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna coin a hero power. I don't think. Right, but one three is more than one one. Yeah. I guess we just play that next turn. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the weapon has charge. One three does not have charge. Yeah. They oh, have five cards in their deck. We can fatigue him. I, think um, I like trading. I like trading to power up our attack. All right. Fly. Also, kind of like going face. He's only got ten life. Yeah, and we got a core crown and a We bash. basically have the equivalent of a fiery war axe right now. Yeah. <laughs> now we have two, three, four. Oh, they start on ten health. What on earth? I think here is when we slam face. We just go for it. <laughs> bash we, face. We, we yeah. play higher gun and everything face. I would not bash face, no. He might have taunts later. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think one thing that Jungle Giants knows is like, wait, this is way easier than we thought it would. <laughs> they had 10 health, and we're pretty much halfway there on turn three. So but trust me, it, it ramps up uh, as time goes on. Yeah, when you when you generally go into you know a dungeon in any kind of uh, any kind of game, you, you don't usually encounter a particularly difficult challenge right away. That's it. You know, the, yeah. the goal here is it, it ramps up. The giant rat, your first opponent. Oh yeah. Not so difficult. It looks like Jungle Giants has the tools right now to just finish off the rat yeah. on turn four. They see lethal. This one's pretty uh, cut and dry here. Giant rat <laughs> is not supposed to be an obstacle. It's not like Hogger for per se, which has stopped uh, millions of Hearthstone players around the world. I'm sure. And who justifiably won the costume contest last night. I don't know if anyone caught that cosplay. But anyway, here is a very key moment. Uh, the players are choosing a treasure. This is something that will improve their deck. Let's hear what they think about their options. All we except have, a few. We have eight minions. Yeah. I like the plus one, plus one. I like plus one, plus one. Our health doesn't matter. We're going to yeah, kill people. Yeah, health really doesn't matter. And how many spells? We have like one spell. Okay. Remember, uh, minions are buffed. Reinforce we get them. double smuggler. It's right smug now... It's definitely not the one on the left. N yeah. Not <coughs> Blood Warriors. We're right. not dragons. Hungry Dragon can have uh, dire consequences. A higher fail rate. Yeah. <laughs> but we might see some cards from the new expansion. I don't want to play. Accidentally. Yeah, but I don't want to play a ten drop <laughs> in our deck. Yeah. Let's win. So I, Honcho, it is. I like. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yep. Good. Okay. Honcho, a charger, man. That's where it's at. Can we see his hero power? Anything? Can we click on him? Oh, oh we, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Restore two health to all minions. That's okay. We're pirate warrior. Zero mana. Zero yeah, it's mana. a zero mana card. So uh, he's got 20 health though, and he might have some heal cards. So I think we should probably play control a little bit at the start. Sure. Yeah. Don't do anything insane. But heals but, our yeah. minions as well. Oh, it is our minions oh, as well. Minions. So yeah. if we make value trades, he can't even use his hero. All right, I really like the comms that I'm hearing here from Jungle Giants, even evaluating everything. And, and you know what? Getting a slight edge that we didn't mention to the players, because they don't know anything about Dungeon Run. You tap the hero, you see the hero power ahead of time and plan your strategy. And, and that's very important. Going in and knowing uh, what you're facing is pretty crucial, as these players, as you mentioned earlier, have not experienced the Dungeon Run so far. So this is their, their first time in going blind. And uh, as much information they can get before the game itself, the better. And the buff will be applied, the passive buff that they chose, which is essentially the Keliseth buff, every minion gets plus one, plus one, prior to the draw, so the Mind Berserk will be a 3-4, and, and everyone thought Totem Golem was good. Now imagine if you have a Rage <laughs> effect with plus three attack. 
Now with the game starting off pretty slowly. Uh, no early play from Graves the Cleric. Yeah. But that is, that I've played against Graves the Cleric, and uh, he has some he has some powerful options available to him. Okay. Interesting. I, I do find that the the first two bosses do tend to play, for, for, especially for players of these caliber, will tend to play themselves. It does start to get a little tricky as a third boss. Sometimes they have some really powerful stuff, and there are two bosses specifically that I was warned about that can be really powerful. And the way the dungeon run works is that uh, outside of the giant rat, I believe, heroes or bosses two from eight are randomized, yes. and you get a chance of facing any of them equally. Well, here is the injured blade master with a. Oh, does not use the zero cost hero power to uh, to heal up all of the minions here. Graves the clerical even leaves the Amani berserker buffed here. I yep. think that may have been an AI misplay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and listen into the Jungle Giants and see how they're going to wrap this game up and head into game three. We have eight burst out of hand. Like, he's dead. These get progressively harder, so I'm wondering what the other hero powers are they could have. All right, kill him. Seems okay. good. Okay. I don't think right. they're going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and again, the, the first two levels are pretty much introductory. Uh, in fact, it's pretty much just uh, a formality for most of these players. It will be hilarious, though, if one of them ends up losing. But the challenge really comes at this stage of the game. All right, well, let's hear what they think about their options for their next treasure. Cast Pyroblast randomly until a hero dies. We have to pick that one. We do you not. do 20 <laughs> damage with Heroic Strike in a 16-card deck. I still like this card. Death Rally resummon this minion. I guess that keeps happening and then it never dies, right? This is 5-1 that never dies. Four times. At worst, it's two mana deal four in Pirate Warrior. Poisonous Mega Winter. We're not exactly playing Pirate Warrior, It's though. poisonous. You can kill four minions. The, oh, it the is The amount poisonous. of tempo you get and the amount of damage potential, there's right. no way it's not the You're dagger. Right. All right. It's the dagger. dagger. We want oh. minions. Uh, left more side. Grimes? More, more, more that, yeah. Grime Street Pawnbroker is not even a bad card. With all uh, the weapons. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it just costs too much. Rag right. Remember, we, we have the plus one, plus one passive that favors smaller minions. Right. Yeah, we just take far left. There's a weapon in this one, though. There's yeah. all the women minions. It's okay. Weapons are that's variant. Ragnaros is a very good card. These are big. Yeah, I mean, our deck is already pretty small, though, right? We didn't, exactly. we, we didn't know Hunter what we were going to be facing. a lot of value. Yeah, it, and, I, and honestly, if, if it is going to be a control game, we can save our Mega Wind Fury weapon for the Heroic Strike turn, and just, which is 20 burst. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's insane. Okay. We can even Grime Sheep Pawnbroker it to make it even bigger. 40, 40 health. health. Well, Summon a 1-1 one, one copy of a minion for one mana. Okay. We can deal 40, it's fine. Okay. 20 card deck. We're so the hit. health totals went from 10 to 20 to 40. So, so aggressive decks are pretty good for the first two, but then get worse. It might actually fail here. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna. Yeah. I don't think so either. Yeah, it's okay. Going in game three, Jungle Giants has picked up a Vorpal Dagger, which uh, has Mega Wind Fury, four charges, and a poison. I actually haven't seen that card before, and I think that's that's amazing to have. But as you can see, the bosses also ramp up in difficulty. Yeah, Waxmancer Sturmy uh, is actually the boss that I mentioned running into in my deck that played two Ragnaros on turn three, and well, uh, just able to make one one Ragnaros that just shot. On my Ragnaros. <laughs> yeah. Jungle Giants, though, we heard uh, they were not only strategizing for this particular deck, but also, okay, well, the first boss has 10 health, the second boss has 20, the third has 40, so we need to reevaluate maybe in our future runs uh, the best way to approach each of the bosses. Jungle Giants, uh, even throw, thinking about throwing back the Vorpal Dagger, it's just hard removal for everything, but they perhaps value the tempo so much. They even picked up a third copy of the Grind Street Smuggler. That is possible. You don't have a limitation to the normal Hearthstone deck in the dungeon run format. All right, well, Jungle Giants with Zoss first mate, Armorsmith, and Dagger as their opening hand. And then Captured Flag, again, their passive ability they picked in the first uh, yeah. first treasure selection does mean that all of these minions are much stronger. I have found that that is probably the best passive uh, on average. I have not seen a better option in my few times of playing through the dungeon run. And you'll see this is the, one of the reasons why, because now Firebat against Firebat, ironically, uh -oh. it's not going to be good enough. <gasps> Whoa, we have the combo that they were talking about. The Vorpal Dagger plus Heroic Strike means that uh, the Heroic Strike buff will stay the entire turn. So if you would Mega Wind Fury and attack four times with the Vorpal Dagger, that's 20 damage. Let's go ahead and listen into the Jungle Giants, see if, uh, if they can wrap this up real soon and start with a 3 0.
Don't hit the two. That was, don't hit the that, two. That was a little bit of missequencing, oh, yes, it but it's okay. Oh, nice. nice. The missequencing actually improves your overall RNG. So. All right, so we have 24 damage. We're close to lethal. I think we knuckle him in the face. You think we knuckle? No, let's play the I minion. think we play the minion. Yeah, play the minion's fine, yeah. too. Yeah. We definitely swing, yeah. 5, 7. 27 damage. 4 damage off lethal. I think copy arm minions. Interesting. Yeah, develop the knuckle. Brass knuckles play the wobble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Wait, 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 kill the armor smith first. Strike. Yeah. Gotcha. I was just testing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, jungle giants all, but uh, cleaning up this one as they have the lethal set up with the heroic strike vorpal dagger. Pretty convenient how that worked out, huh? Oh, and we heard Firebat mention just as soon as that card was offered as a treasure, he's like, you know what we can do? We can do this. Vorpal dagger, heroic strike. And that is Mega Wind Fury, 20 damage from oh that weapon as Jungle Giants get the full clear on the three bosses in their first round. Yeah. Imagine that with your Pirate Warriors <laughs> back in the day in standard. Jungle Giants starts off strong with their first dungeon run and the full clear. And it is worth noting they need to beat the record of the Grime Street Grifters. Yeah. And you know, as we heard, they, they're like, okay, I don't know that they're going to lose any games, so we got to win them all. So for uh, the Jungle Giant, things are going well with a 3-0. So when we come back, we're going to find out what's going to happen with Firebat's run here at the Hearthstone Invitational. You're going to have to reevaluate what uh, cards th their new class will want. And I believe it looks like it is Anvil's turn. Yes. That's right. It'll be Priest. And again, the first few levels, uh, the first couple levels aren't anything too particularly challenging, but the third can present a problem. It just so happened that Crypt drew the dream combination of the one heroic strike and the Vorpal Dagger treasure. All right, and as we see here, different boss. The, the Wee Whelp is now the opponent. Oh, interesting. And uh, trying to feed on Firebat here. So uh, there are varying bosses that you can face in, in each of the levels, including the first one. That's interesting, because I, I played the, uh, a few times. You, you played it right next mm -hmm. to me a few times. I've seen other people play it. It was almost Giant Rat every time. So I actually I, got Wee Whelp I, both times I played. Oh, did you? I did. It was just drawn that. to me. The dragon was just drawn to me. Uh, they knew, they knew. That's why they specifically had you sit at that PC. <laughs> they actually reserved it. One guy actually tried to sit down next to me. He was like, oh, excuse me. That's reserved for Mr. Brian Kibler and his lovely dog, Shira. Uh, so uh, some people, again, who might be tuning in midway might be wondering uh, why we only stop at three. And that's because this is the, the same version as you can play on the floor. So if you're live watching here at BlizzCon for the audience, you can try out this very same dungeon run. But normally it goes up to eight bosses, so it continues to stack in difficulty. And uh, as you can see, the difficulty does not begin too hard as <laughs> Mind Blast gives. Uh, yeah. Oh, maybe not. Maybe wow. he's, he's going to go fancy. fancy Potion BM. of Madness. Firebat is even go, going so far as to BM the AI here. Wow. Take no prisoners, but all right. We're going to start things off really nice and sweet. Let's go ahead and tune in and listen to their decisions post game. All right, let's plan for the long game, because the first two are a joke. So let's look at the deck. We do have a number of spells, but we have like seven minions. Mind Blast when your opponent has 40 health is not very good. Mm -hmm. All of these seem awful. Uh, I disagree. I mean, I think the at double At the start of the game, play three random mm -hmm. secrets. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I mean, want to make all of my mini enemy minions cost one more. It's a close one, actually. Because if they are playing off curve, Priest's hero power is better. I mean, like, I can heal up my guys and benefit from extra health the and thing take is, better The hero trades. powers are all really good. Generally, their hero powers are pretty good, so... I like the three secrets. I want to take far left. I think it just works better with our stuff. All right. I mean, I there's a lot of really bad secrets, like every paladin secret. All right. Okay. Sylvanas Resurrect seems pretty sweet. One on the right every time. This right? is super tempo. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah the one on the right is super All of them are good. Inner Firing seems like the most likely to accidentally screw us, though. Yes, especially if you draw both of them with yeah. minions that don't have much more health yep. than attack. We'll go tempo. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Let's see what he does here. Hero Power? Hero Power, give, give a, a minion, minion charge. charge for one mana. Yeah, right. well, his minions cost a lot already, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Just want to get on the field quick. 
I, have... I love the observation fire bet made. Kind of playing to his class's strength, saying if you give us time, Priest's hero power is much better, the easier we can secure a board. And as uh, you may have noticed, the uh, options that were available for treasures that time were different than the time previous. So you don't always have access to the yeah. powerful buffs like all of your minions getting plus one, plus one. So Jungle Giants here trying to figure out which of these perhaps suboptimal options are their best. Yeah, this is, of course, a nod to uh, Peter Whalen, who also took the lead on initial design here for Kobolds and Catacombs. And he's a big fan of roguelikes, has his own roguelike game, and uh, definitely very interesting experience every time you play it. That's what Ben Brode meant when he feels like this was the most replayable solo adventure content in Hearthstone. Yeah. And uh, Jungle Giants here having to take down Candlebeard. Uh, we saw them get a little bit of scouting info. Uh, the hero power from Candlebeard is one mana to... Uh, I didn't want to interrupt him. He was a, talking. What's a tunnel lover? <laughs> One who loves a tunnel, I guess. I mean, they're, they're okay. catacombs here. Yeah. I, I suppose that's People a People who take the subway to work, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we see the, uh, the uh, passive ability of causing the minions to cost one more comes in very big there. So uh, not able to get the pit snake down on turn one and not able to charge it on turn two. You're right. Although, honestly, the charge on turn two wouldn't have made that much yeah, of a difference in this scenario, but can continue to do so in the future turns. Jungle Giants, just being very meticulous. I think Quip summarized it pretty, pretty well. The first two do feel like a walk in the park for guys like these calibers. Let's go ahead and listen in and see what they're going to do here. Wow. Paying North Shore, I guess. No, well, he didn't trade last turn. I mean, we could pain. Why don't you Cabal the dragon? We could pain. Sure. You just go, go face, face again. Yeah. Oh, and I'd, I'd, play the, I'd play the novice, uh, sorry, the North Shore cleric too. Because yeah. why not? Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. Uh, we could save it for draw. We no. Don't, well, the game won't last that I long. I think you play it every time. Yeah, you yeah you're right. Is someone injured? Then we just try and save everything for damage. Wow. No patches in this deck. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Two off. I love trash talking both the AI's plays yeah. and the AI's yep. deck. It's like, no, you just want to face there, you just smoke, and you don't have a patches? Come on now, Candlebeard, get it together. Yeah, uh, definitely not have the most optimized deck list without South Sea Captain, <laughs> but uh, we also see the disruption from Jungle Giant's choice, and I'm really liking how Firebat uh, kind of commandeered his position. Said, this is kind of my run here, and I really feel like the Glyph of Warding was really important to make things cost a little bit extra. And Candlebeard just suiciding the ship's cannon. <laughs> and it looks like Jekyll Giant has the tools yeah. they need to take down the second boss. So we'll see if they can get yet another full clear on their uh, their next boss. Seems pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and tune in Jungle Giant and see what happens for the treasures. Whoa, whoa, whoa. he's stealing. And they lose those cards. Your minions cost zero this From their turn. hand, and they're just gone forever. Yeah. All right, we're going to do that. That's broken. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> minions cost zero is also pretty good. Uh, I mean, I've, we don't I've, have card draw minions aren't that expensive either. What's that? We have ch cheap minions and no card draw. Yeah. Mm. I mean, right, it's great fine. for Tempo, Their though. cards are just broken, too, sometimes, right? Take his things. Yeah. yeah. Steal is nice. If we steal, like, we're harassing our opponents. Whoa! Oh, wow. Hello. The Death Knight. Wait, the uh, Death Knight, but also the Blaze Caller, yeah. Servant of Kelamos. We already have one Firefly. We already have a Radiant and a Tar Creeper and the Lightspawn. We actually have And one drops are broken. But here's the thing, again, we're up, we're up against 40 health this time, so yeah. we might run out of steam. I think we want a little bit... I don't know. I guess the left Shadow side... Shadow Ascendant's also really good, too. And Shadow Fiend. It is. Yeah, all right, we'll take the Death Knight. Uh, yeah. I like it. We have enough early game, I think. 40 health again. It's the same guy. Someone oh. won one copy yep. of it. Oh, it is Which is good. Guy. Yeah. I don't think it was very strong. <laughs> and his hero power is kind of weak because his minions are slower. We didn't have a no, mega win copy our Oh, yeah, that's true. Shadow Reaper that's Anduin okay. making an appearance here, and uh, I'm sure you're pretty happy, Gibbler, yeah. to see that. I mean, I, I love all things Priest, so when, when, I, when I did first go in the dungeon run, I'm like, all right, Priest it is, and I got to do some fun stuff. All right, it's it's going to be Wax Master's Thermia again, and remember, it, it is a, a randomized pool of hero, or bosses, excuse me, at each level here, and it seems like Jungle Giant's very familiar with it, going to help them a lot. Well, and we heard uh, Jungle Giant's mention that, oh, okay, well, the fact that the uh, minions cost one more does help shut down the hero power, but as we saw in the last game, 
Wax Professor Sturmy can copy opposing minions as well. So That's here right. we go. At least starts the 1-1 one, one Firefly. Thankfully for Jungle Giants, though, theirs remains 1-2. Yeah, the stronger your minions get, um, they'll summon a, a, a copy of a 1-1 one, one version. So if you have end of turn effects, it can really go disastrously. Kipper told us a small anecdote before the show even began, how he played two or three Ragnaros really early on, and then Wax managed to stir me, copied those Ragnaros, and started winning. But when Jungle Giants drew their treasure, let's hear what they do. Uh, do you want to hit no, face? can just attack with the 1-1. One, hit one face What does it matter? I would hit face with the uh, There might be a new card that kills it. Like, why not play it? Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> that's is actually it? This is insane. That's actually hilarious. That's right. so broken. <laughs> Zero mana win the non -minion, game. Non minion, minion, and then non minion. So he probably has a couple minions in his hand right now that he can't even play. Right. <laughs> it's probably the three summoner. Oh, expensive. No, it's, it's not expensive. one of the new cards. I like Animal Fiery. Hey, yeah. I love that. Love that. Sweet. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, he is summoning a 1-1 one, one probably. Yeah, why next don't we do a flame power. elemental just to to trade efficiently? I mean, I, I guess, guess we can power. trade Leo. We can trade Leo into his hero power. No, I want to keep Leo at full health. Okay. Another secret. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out the treasures are pretty powerful. Yeah, you know, it's the, bugged them. The steal three cards isn't the normal like thought steal type of interaction where you copy a card of your opponent. They actually just straight up took it. And from their Robbery. hand, too. Not even, not even from their deck. That was just right. three cards in the boss's hand that are no longer there. Yeah, uh, that, that, that uh, is pretty much as fu unfun as it comes for Wax Mancer Sturmy. He's probably pretty upset about that. Well, thankfully, AI has no feelings. At least not this level of AI. Maybe there are AI out there that yeah, in about I should be years, talking trash In about 100 but... years, you would probably be arrested <laughs> by an AI robot. But uh, it's OK to say in 2017. Jungle Giants, though, they have assembled quite the board here. Oh, they get to discover more cards and steal more they cards do. from their opponents. They do. Just taking everything. Poor Sturmy. Yeah, I mean, the Holy Nova seems also very reasonable, but Dragonite Operative on five, kind of hard to turn down. More discovers are available to them with Tomb Spider as well. And it seems like Jungle Giants is cruising. Nothing really is stopping them, at least in this run either. Yeah, getting a lot of damage in. 40 health is not so much when you are facing down a board like this. And we see there the uh, the passive ability coming into play, the Glyph of Warding shutting down the ability to copy that festival as well. I was half expecting uh, like the perfect fire bat uh, outcomes there for Wax Mantis Sturmy, but I think this one's uh, locked up. Jungle Giants is so far ahead at this point. I mean, these are fiery bats against fire bat himself. They That's will right. they will not you know force him to uh, to get the worst of it. Yeah, they'll bend to his will. Jungle Giants going for the lethal setup here, and I think that's going to be a guaranteed dungeon clear because Waxman's is me, as far as I know, doesn't run AoE and heal in one single card. Now, if I'm Jungle Giants, I'm starting to get a little scared, actually, because this has been relatively easy so far for them. Smooth cruising. And if it goes as smoothly for their opponents in the Grime Street Grifters in their runs, a tie goes to the higher ranked team. So right now, Jungle Giants uh, has to be a little bit concerned, I think, considering how well things are going. Yeah, they uh, they have seen the same uh, level three boss every time, though. So it's possible that they may run into a more difficult one, or perhaps their opponents may face a more difficult challenge as well. Okay, well with that, Jackie will rotate in and tap in the Mage class to try and get to the nine boss count here. Remember, we're playing only the three levels. There's eight total in the dungeon run, so usually in the Cobalt uh, expansion that comes out, you're going to be able to play through all of them and see where you end up losing. And I was again told that the final boss is actually sometimes very, very difficult. And a lot of times people when they're testing were losing to it. So that actually scares me for my own personal runs <laughs> when it eventually comes out. I mean, even just in the the uh, three bosses that we've faced so far uh, in the demos here as well as on the stage, I found some really cool stuff going on. And even if it isn't necessarily the, the, the toughest challenge so far, there's definitely some fun puzzle to solve. And we'll see <laughs> how Jackie Chan ends up approaching the mage. Yeah, you know, uh, one of them I decided to have fun on one of my runs. I picked Wish. Wish was a 10-mana spell that you saw as a treasure, and it filled your entire board with legendary minions. Uh, I happened to get great stuff. I got Kael'thuzad, I got Steedle Shredder, some ridiculous combos, and then I got Acid Maw at the very end. <laughs> and my opponent, my AI opponent swiped, and it cleared my entire board. And I actually lost because of that. 
So there's definitely some shenanigans that can come out if you're if you're you taking it too easy. It. Let's go ahead and listen in Jungle Giants from the very get-go and see what they're talking, thinking about. It. It's a 10-card deck. Yeah. There's got to be better cards than this. Get rid. 100% don't want to keep Nimsaya? 100%. Yeah, I don't want to keep Nimsaya. I like proactive cards. That's right. not a proactive yeah. card. We might have to play a control deck with Mage, though. So If, if we ever have to play it. Doomsayer, and then he actually has removal and lose because of that, I would feel so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I, I, I can keep rid of it, everything. Yep. Yeah, get rid of everything. Mana Worm. Mana Worm's a good one. Get that one. I like that one a lot. There oh, you go. yes. I think you get a one drop every time. <laughs> you got a one drop when you mulligan one card. I got a one drop when I mean, you mulligan one card. Like the cards first card he mulliganed got a one drop. Mm. Controlled. Maybe. Hello. Not the mama. Not the mama. This is the <laughs> mama. The mama worm. <laughs> okay. If we turn one to Nixia, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, play, play wow. two drop and go face, yeah. Yeah. Like the first boss we've curved out perfectly every time. Yep. Always lucky. Rip Souls of the Apprentice. That's fine. Hey. It's a tempo game. He has nine health. Yeah. Nah, it's set of Soon to be a lot less. <laughs> Alright, we have lethal. GG. He has killed we both did. minions. Instead, he played a Bloodfen Raptor and a Boar. Great call. Quality cards. Man, we got really lucky we didn't lose this one. <laughs> No, the only one emote per boss. <laughs> nice. Going well. <laughs> we have Barrier and Doomsayer, which are really bad. We have seven minions. We have Azur Drake. And Blizzard and control tools, which could be good. Yeah. I think plus one, plus one to all your minions yeah, is never the one straight up broken. So I would pick the middle. Like, Kaliseth buff is pretty good. I mean, you have seven minions, but Doomsayer doesn't really count, I guess. It's not bad that it's bigger when you do play it. Right. Uh, it's harder to remove. Yeah. I think, it, I think it's just like... No, if you do remove Doomsayer, the minions start dying off, too. It's not... Yeah. 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 I, uh, plus one, plus one is just yeah, the I best. Think, I think like, so. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Whoa, double rag! Double arcade double arcade. Giant. These are really bad. You have to Far go right. Yeah. What? You don't want double rag? No. No. I would love double rag. Arcane Blast is broken. I know you would. Thalnos is broken. <laughs> no. Cult Sorceress is really good. Yeah. Tempo, low cost minions. The third guy has 40 health. It, it's, yeah. Yeah. And having board control and being ahead on tempo is how you beat that. That's a two mana 2-2. Two, two. That's a two mana 4-3 with spell damage. And that's a one mana deal four. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Or more, like potentially, like yeah, yeah probably the, the the meme inside of me is, is, is saying rag, but I'll listen to you guys. Don't be blinded by the memes. Blinded yeah, by the, the memes. Those are all memes <laughs> on that side. It's a touch screen. Don't even, don't even put your hand in that direction. <laughs> New hero. Frostfur. Hero power freeze minion. minion. Not gonna help him. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do it. Right. I picked well, double I, I, pick, I picked Jungle Giants to win. Now I don't want them to win. Even. I actually really like Jackie Chan's reaction every time. He just wants the biggest and most impressive thing. Oh, yeah, He's I like, but Ragnaros, two Ragnaros. I want <laughs> yeah. it so bad. But no, it is it is Firebat and Crip who uh, keep him in line and yeah. uh, pick the aggressive option to take down Frostfur. That's some amazing loot. It's just pick your loot and imagine. Oh man, there's gonna be some guy who probably thought like, wow, I could put two Ragnaros in my deck, and, you know, from Kobolds and. Uh, and uh, from the expansion. It's just part of the feature of the game mode. And uh, important to note you know, that with their, all the success the jungles have had so far, it is crucial that they exceed the results of the Grime Street Grifters. So if Jungle Giants does get nine wins, but Grime Street Grifters also gets nine wins, it will be the Grifters who do advance. Yes. That's, that's, that's why they're taking it also so seriously, too. If there was a victory lab opportunity where they knew that, uh, say, their opponents had no chance of being able to advance. That's the case, and you, you have to kind of go with the logic. At the same time, a good showcase of the differences in some ideologies as a, a player is playing very competitively and trying to get every single marginal edge they can. Uh, we did hear it during their uh, their team intro. It's all about the marginal edges. That's that's what they're looking for. Yeah. And ooh, Frostfur with the freeze, Man. getting in for two. 
You know what can't be frozen? Well, I guess Ragnaros can be frozen, but you know what's useless against it? Ragnaros. It's true. Let's go ahead and tune into Jungle Giants and see what they're talking about. Let's make magic. Whoa. Oh, interesting trade. Interesting. Uh, I don't know. I <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chillwind Yeti. Oh, I love playing Chillwind Chill Pit Lord. Yeah. Chillwind Pit Lord. The Drake Arcane Blast is really nice. I hope you like my Not against Novice. I think we don't even do that. I think no. we just play the Azure Drake. And punch him in the face. Manowar and Ping is also not bad. Hmm. I like, I the, like Drake. the Azure Drake. Play yeah. the spells next turn. Sure. A Drake 4 2 to face? Yep. yep. Always face there. 5 5 Azure Drake. God was already good. Mage definitely seems the weakest though. Like Ice Barrier is not. Useful. Yeah, Ice Barrier and Doomsayer are bad. Yeah. Here we go. Damn. Look at him go. You can Arcane Blast that for six. So we're, let's do that. Do we have Lethal? Mm, no. Right. Seven. No. I don't see it. No, yeah, we, yeah, we no don't Lethal. Have so it's Thalnos, Mana Worm, Arcane Blast. Yeah, Ping Face. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! One mana deal six damage or a minion? Good card. Better than Rag. Nice. Worse than the new Druid card, potentially. Potentially, yeah. If you ping her in face for max BM. This is not the place for that, Jack. <laughs> 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 All right, GG. <laughs> Boulder Fist Ogre. Makes Ice Barrier look decent. Woo! Sick. Well. Yeah, no fun allowed here. We're, we're, thing. This is a super <laughs> serious thing for, right, to call themselves the 2017 BlizzCon champions, right? <laughs> hey, Jackie, try to go for uh, the memes, but uh, it is time to choose a treasure. Let's listen in. Had Ragnaros in the deck. Ragnaros would be good, but we still get plus one, plus one on everything, so it's still good. Uh, none of our minions are very big, though. They're all pretty small. We got a lot of two. Doesn't right. Well, it doesn't matter. No, Doomsayer would be really bad. Oh, yeah, don't take that, actually. Doomsayer, we could lose. <laughs> yeah, You're right. That would be terrible. Well, oh, these are actually all bad. Yeah, these aren't that great. Fill your hand with coins. I mean... That doesn't help. Well, it doesn't It helps us be aggressive. I think we take... Boots. Boots, yeah. Well, actually, Mana Worm, or Bag of Coins is with the Mana Worm could kill people, as well as is the same thing as Boots, kind of but maybe more flexible for spells and cost zero. So it's better on turn one. No, I think boots if, if we take boots and have like... Boots is better. If, if we have boots in our opening hand, we just... Win the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, boots is also good. I think they're both broken. I like boots. I right. like boots. Sure, go boots. Sick. Whoa, uh, whoa, Antonidas. Yeah, we still be go the Antonidas run, right? It's never lost secrets. Yep. Primordial no, Glyph is a good card. So though. bad. More spell power. More we can play a balls. one mana Antonidas. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Do Everybody it. happy with this? Yeah. Magical friends. Yeah. I love magical friends. Great. The best kind of friends. Cracks. Oh, it's thirty, 30 health. health. Hold on, hold on. Oh, what's yeah. what's he got? One damage to all enemy minions for one. For two, wasn't it? For oh, two, is it for two? Okay, yeah, so for yeah. two. Yeah. That's, That's not pretty, that good. It's pretty, I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty good. It's going to have, power. like, warrior cards, probably, and enrage things, mm -hmm. and maybe sleep with the fishes or execute. Yeah. All right. We got this. We should have took coins. Archmage infinite coins. Uh, no, even then, like, getting an early, like, a way early Archmage is probably better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Like, we just... can play it and play spells with it because it's free. You asked for it. We have some extra two drops now. I kind of want to remove all of that. I don't even want to keep. Oh, you don't want to keep Cold Saucer? No. We have like, like huge it. combo potential. It's, it's a 4-3. Jungle Giants picks up the Archmage Antonitis to bolster their deck there. And I like the pick. I do feel the bag of coins misconnection there. But at the same time, <laughs> I think they're also correct. Getting it out for one, or zero mana 
yeah. is also really powerful. The Boots of Haste do seem extremely powerful if they can find them. I also really liked uh, the analysis from Firebat on the, the potential uh, deck from Cracks. You know, they know, okay, well, if you have a hero power that deals damage to all opposing minions, probably has some effects that care about that damage. Yes. I actually have not played against Cracks, so Neither I'm curious to see what his deck has. New boss. Yeah, new boss. There's, there's a lot of them. There's dozens, I heard. New emote. Let's make magic. Not, not quite up there into the, the BM tier list, I would say, but solid. Oh, boots of haste for jungle giants. Let's Play listen how they want to use it. Yeah, sleep of the visions would be really bad. I think if you want to guarantee success, we wait for Archmage Antonitis and do it with a bunch of fireballs. One man arc. I think you should trade and play the other cult sorcerer. Just leave it at that. Sure. I like it. Wait, wait, why cult sorcerer? Uh, I think it's a bit early for the farseer. All right. I didn't mind that, actually. Yeah. I mean, I, I just wanted to do a three drop into two drop, two drop, though. I want to do the farseer if he does do a whirlwind next turn, which he might. Okay. All right, well, go for it then. Cult I mean, sorcerer. if we play Thalnoth, we're going to get quick into drawing Antonidas and Azir Drake and things that Yeah, but this one punches for four. It does punch for four. <laughs> Cold Sulfur? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Sparkle. Let's make oh. Whoa! Baited the sleep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, let's go Whoa. all in. Shield slam for one. The value. Uh, nothing happened. Okay, that was optimal play. All right, Boots of Haste, play everything. <laughs> optimal play. <laughs> Where do we want to play around second fishes? I don't think we want to play around second visions. I think we just do it. You want to play around second visions? No, I just want to go all in. I think yeah, I, 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 like I think I would do Earthen Ring Farseer and just go face. All right, I, then I, we're waiting for Antonidas. I feel like, are we specifically no, just, waiting for Antonidas for this? Fine, play the Blood Mage then. We'll draw two cards and then we'll do the boots next turn. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. No, no, no. Earthen no, no. the Blood Mage. Blood Mage. Yeah. Blood Mage face, and then we, we don't have a big deck, right? It's 12 cards. We have two Azure Drakes in there. We have Antonidas in there. Right. Oh, you know. yeah. We should just wait for the Azure Drakes. Let's just wait on the boots. The double Azure Drake Antonidas. We'll get Azure Drake, Azure Drake, Antonidas. Kill yeah. your guy with Arcane Blast. I'd Fire say we just want to draw right now. Okay. Donald's ping. Like, he used two removal pieces on two garbage minions. Let's right. play another garbage minion. Sure. I, I think we're overthinking this a lot. Yeah, we are definitely overthinking this. That's fine. Donald's yeah. ping face. Yep. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I think they uh, might be overthinking things a lot. And you know what's really funny, too? Soul Adventure content, there's no rope. You have an infinite time. So they could have hypothetically uh, went to closing time with this debate because <laughs> apparently they couldn't decide. Well, I, I do really like uh, how they chose to hold off in the Boots of Haste the previous turn, recognizing the threat of a possible uh, Sleep with the Fishes, as Firebat had mentioned, going in. And it was there. So they could have run all of their minions into, uh, into that one uh, removal spell. Yeah, curious that they went for the Boots of Haste here immediately. It looks like they wanted to tempo out um, some spells with it, too. Arcane Blast, for example, hits for, what, eight damage now? It's a, a big blast, yes. Oof. Jungle Drives, maybe even contemplating if they want to pick up a trade, because if Thanos draws a card, they want to draw deeper into a chance of hitting Antonitis. Or maybe even a second Azure Drake. It replaces the Thanos. It's not like you need the spell damage anyways. It's true. Uh, they are deep in thought. All right, is the Arcane Blast going to push some damage to the face? Heal up that Cult Sorcerer? I, I don't know, because no. if Crax plays Seeds with the Fishes, he's playing Warrior Class stuff. What if he has a Brawl? Could be. I mean, what if Jungle Giants has corners? I, I, I'm imagining some world where Crax has an ability to deal with this board. It's cool here, Power. Up. Nice oh. <sighs> All right, well... I, I feel like Cracks would have brawled there. I feel like Cracks could u could use some uh, use some help in his ordering. All the tokens also got plus <laughs> yeah. one plus one too. <laughs> Turns out Core Entry is a terrible card when you have the, the captured flag. Uh, this is just lethal for the Jungle Giants. They're going to get the full clear on the dungeon once again, so they need to hope that the Grime Street Grifters falter in their attempt. Flawless nine zero.